Welcome back to the channel folks. I just wanted to update you guys on my journey where I'm currently at uh, in pursuing my uh, enterprise admin expert badge for Microsoft 365. Previously I made a video on MS100 completion, how I completed it, how I passed it, resources I use. And this video is kind of similar uh, and what, what what I did next. So after completing the MS100, I was working on doing MS101 uh, and I was under the impression that I only need to do these two in order to get this cert but I was mistaken. I needed to do these two plus complete one of these five uh, prerequisites. So if anyone out there is planning on getting these uh, you're gonna have to do one of these five cert which means you complete one of the prerequisite and then you do the the exam uh, right now they have merged MS 100 and MS 101 into one exam so anyone out there who's starting now they just have to do one out of these five and then this one so only two exam in total and I was uh, uh, doing the same thing, but uh, then I had to do pick one out of these five. So I chose the last one here. It's uh, it's called Microsoft Certified Identity and Access Admin Associate. I thought it's gonna be easy, but it was not. I underestimated the exam and uh, I failed it. So I failed my first attempt. Uh, for very first time very I was very devastated uh, as you know it cost me money like 250 Canadian dollars so yeah then I had to change my way of preparing for the exam uh, so that I can clear it and uh, that's what I'm gonna share with you guys so you you are pre pre prepared I guess uh, before you you know sit for this exam so yeah, naturally I looked at the the things they ask you, they're going to ask you about on the exam. So I went through the study guide and uh, if I had to summarize the things they test you on, I would say anything you can see in the Azure AD portal, any option there, that's what this exam is. It will encompass everything about uh, Azure AD and every product. It has like identity government uh, governance, identity protection, user groups, licenses, uh, etc. So yeah, anything you see in Azure AD portal is measured in SC hundred three hundred exam. SC three hundred exam. Sorry. Uh, yeah, that's one. The second thing is I used this uh, training provider. Uh, they are called Cloud Academy and uh, surprisingly they had a course for SC300 uh, I'm gonna yeah just show you so it, it was like 17 hours of course they have all the lectures labs and at the end of course there is gonna be an uh, exam uh, with some questions which are pretty similar to what comes in the exam so this is what I did use and I also to just there's a lot of concepts uh, when it comes to using uh, uh, Azure AD products like conditional access policy, um, using access reviews, access package, entitlement management, uh, using cloud apps for security, things like that. So. I I found this uh, YouTube channel on uh, YouTuber uh, John Savile and uh, he's pretty good. So he actually has a S3, S, SC300 playlist and uh, the one I watched twice was this video out of his playlist. It's basically a study cram. Uh, he just goes over all the key features and key things uh, they ask you on exam. Uh, really goes uh, in in depth uh, in these uh, on these topics uh, in in his playlist for SC three hundred and yeah it's pretty chill uh, chill guy Jim bro 
uh, if I say uh, so myself. But yeah, you should definitely check him out. Uh, and yeah, lastly, after I failed my exam, I realized that the question they ask is very scenario based. It's very specific. The question they ask, unless you, you work in Azure AD portal, you know, every day, you 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 won't be able to confidently answer the questions they ask. So I found out this website about this website it's called exam topics and uh, they have this uh, database of all the questions those were asked or questions which were similar to the questions that actually comes in the exam uh, and yeah I just started you know going through all the questions and I would say I, I can bet uh, like 80% of these questions worm on my exam both the times so if you go through all their 193 questions uh, genuinely study you know go through the discussion what uh, you know people are thinking the answer answers should be you know questioning the the website which in some time the website could be wrong I'm gonna warn you that on, on that that the answer the website reveals it could be wrong so you will have to take you know risk you will have to do your own research and that also helps in you know getting more grasp on the concepts so definitely definitely 100% please go through all the questions on this website for SC300 exam if you're gonna be sitting for it if you're spending money for it please go through all these questions it will you will thank me later you'll be like it will feel like you cheated you just got the exam leaked but go through it so yeah that's how I passed the exam this last uh, the second time uh, I didn't know about the type of question the way they put the questions in the exam uh, it was a bit different from what I experienced while you know setting for the MS 100 where they had labs and simulations but for SC300 there was no labs it's gonna be only questions and all very s scenario based so yeah this will definitely make you familiar with what the questions will be like so you can prepare them uh, and yeah basically that's how I uh, passed my SC300 uh, this time I don't have any outline or the kind of question they asked like I had in my last video for MS100 because of this website this website exists all these questions are right there all 193 just go through them okay uh, and yeah if you have any questions about the exam anything about Azure AD you want help with I can make a video on it please let me know thank you